So I love the lunch. Oh, we shared. We shared uh, leftover taco meat. <laughs> we threw it on some Tostitos, Dorito, not Doritos, what those things are? The, the Tostitos tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Melted the last little drop of uh, cheese. Now we gotta answer the phone and go. That's all the pasta. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Stop talking. Yep. Chilly outside. Uh -huh. Hoping my socks won't fall off my feet. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. So, going in the car. See you later. <laughs> Just came home. Saw there was a window open with no screen and my cat could get out, but luckily she's right here. You didn't escape, Squeaky. Squeaky, don't don't go downstairs until you fix the screen because the last thing I want is for you to escape. You're so cute, Squeaky. So anyway, I'm home now. And first thing I was going to do is find this little one, and I did. And, um, oh yeah, I'm going to go look, um, I think it's Digi Fest, like D-I-G-I, -I, however you say that. Um, the June 6th at City Field, where the Mets play, um, like Demi Lovato is going to be there, Kingsley, um, Alex from Target, all these people, and um, I like really, really, really want to go if there's still tickets. But getting to Queens will be a little tricky, so I'm gonna go on the website and get like all the information that I can and see if they're gonna be anywhere else because I think it is like a tour, and they these people like go to different places. Um, but I don't know if Kingsley is like going anywhere. Um, it's very rare that he's in. The East Coast, but I saw you posted a video, so for King Slays Me, I gotta go watch his latest collab video. This is Wednesday, right? So I'll watch some YouTube videos, catch up on the Coney Jolies, and whoever else, and I need to put some sheets on my bed. Um, <laughs> I'm just in love with her. Thank you. You're so precious. We should. Oh, you're praying. You want to tell the viewers how much you appreciate them? <laughs> so, yep. That's what I'm going to go do. Of course, I gotta love you. <laughs> Isn't she just adorable? Look, that's you, Squeaky. So cute. Climb <laughs> 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 down the stairs. Don't want to trip. So I have exciting news. My birthday present, I'm going to DigiFest in New York at City Field where the Mets play. So, um, since you last saw me and my cat, I was going to like Google stuff or whatever. So, came downstairs, looked into DigiFest. Sadly, all the VIPs were sold out. Because yesterday, there was still one VIP option available, but, mm, so... I got the second best thing, and it's going to be so much fun, I'm just organizing my stuff here. I got this cute little like, organize your vitamins and stuff like that holder, um, I think it, TJ Maxx, so it is 3.23, and I still need to kind of get stuff together, and then, um, yeah, I'm still working on this, and then I need to swap 
handbags, I think. Because for traveling, a bigger handbag. Dropping oh, bottles. Um, might be easier. So, we'll see. So, um, as I was saying, this has been the bag I've been using um, for a good chunk of time. Because I was traveling a lot. I was using this bag because it's huge. So, I'm just debating on going and swapping out back to that bag or to this one because it is bigger um but not as big we gotta fit all my stuff into things but i do have my new backpack so that should come in handy so i'm sitting in my mom's bed watching slash listening to this coney jolly they recently got a thousand, no, a million friendly as friends, and I'm sure they could use some more. So if you don't, if you're not subscribed to the Sakoni Jolies, I would go ahead and do that. They're a really cute family. Um, and I decided to go <laughs> with this bag. Um, I kind of compared like the width, no, the length, um, or whatever. I don't know. I suck with math. Um, of both handbags and they're pretty much the same the other one might be slightly bigger but I was using that one so much um so which one is this one so I thought I'll just real quick kind of be like what's in my bag or what am I about <laughs> what am I about to put in here so um like a hairbrush with a little mirror my license and I made like this ID card thingy but I need to make a new one because part of a phone number is like chopped off um I have gum which is great for all sorts of occasions especially when you're on the airplane and you're descending and your ears are popping I have two uh cherry jelly Jolly Lodger, Jolly Ranch Lollipops. I have two things of Tic Tacs, the white fresh mint. You can have, no, no, I mean, no. when can you not have enough fresh breath? I have some tissues. It's allergy season, obviously, and I just sneezed earlier and I was like, ugh. So, one of these, um, what do you call these thingies? Uh, uh auxiliary like cord thing because you never know what kind of car you get if you're lucky the rental car um has a usb port and you can charge your phone that way and listen to your music if not it's good to have that um another little fitbit i'm wearing mine but in case this breaks i have backup and my shopping lush list just whenever I get to them get to actually like fully like go to lush and just be chill in there um or not in a rush um I can sort all that out my card keys and other keys in this cute little picture can you see that ah. um this little like weird stick on a screen cleaner for like your phone or your iPad or what have you. Most important, this, although it's for baby, so it is pure and free, it's Neutrogena 60 plus uh, sunscreen, which I think is good because it's teeny, it's a baby, <laughs> and you can just keep it on the go, so I'm going to reapply throughout the day. My save the date card for the Filoni Foundation. Um, bridge the gap gala because it's a new date and location and this way if anyone wants to know there you have it <laughs> um fruit snacks can't live without fruit snacks um some a mixture of what peanuts and cashews or just cashews i have food Ooh, pretzels i always keep food on me because you never know when blood blood sugar is going to strike um, my hearing aid case, wallet, Ugh, it feels kind of heavy even though there's not a lot of like 
money money in there <laughs> um, Ooh, and also important advanced Purell it's a new effective formula in a pump bottle how cute is that um, and then here's my little keychain it's a ladybug so I gotta stick that on the inside Ooh, my sunglasses good thing I decided seriously to like switch bags because in the bottom of this one was some loose change so I was like oh I should put that in my wallet and then I found a check that I thought I gave to my mom but I never did and she's been going bonkers trying to find it and so then my grandma had to write her another one and I think she so I had it the whole time in my wallet so I'm gonna be like hey mom guess what so I'm gonna go finish Putting all that together and then maybe start trying to work on my carry on. We will see. You guys smell a chicken cookie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, let's see, my foot, my shoe, these socks. Okay, if you remember earlier, I was showing you my Sperry socks and then I put my Sperry top cider shoes, like the boat shoes, and you could totally see the socks. But they were nice socks. So I put my sneakers on and they're like where you tie the laces, it's rubbing. And I'm like, ugh. Um, but so I guess a different spare shoe would work on this. See this? I'm sitting on it, boing, boing. Um, I could totally be add some air to it. But um, ugh. pardon me. So basically, I wanted to give you all an up. Um, I sort of, well, sort of, no, I did reconnect, um, with a childhood friend on Facebook. Like, well, she reached out to me and a bunch of people. And so I was like, hey! Anyways, so, um, we were like wee little children, like, how, like five years old? <laughs> um, we were little and so she was in the neighborhood today and so she and her friend popped by and sat down and we chatted and you know kind of got caught up on so on life and decided like why not be friends again why not so sadly she doesn't live too conveniently close to me <laughs> But I'm sure we'll make something work out and like hang out again and like have more time to be like really chill and chit chat. But I was like in the midst of like trying to get my stuff together for the trip. And she had a whole bunch of other people she wanted to say hello to while she was in town today. So that was really, really nice. So I've managed to swap handbags and um, most of my toiletries are kind of done the one thing i think i could technically pack all i need is like the razor the razor and my razor but um i have a feeling i'm gonna need to like shave my legs yeah <laughs> before i go so <laughs> that's like like things like toothbrushes and razors they're like last minute items um, but otherwise, I just kind of have everything, like, kind of in its, like, toiletry bag, if you will. Like, a cosmetic -y bag. Um, and I just, anything that I currently still need, I just take it out of there and then put it back. So, like, Saturday morning, um, or Friday night, whatever, I can, that I'm, like, completely done with, I can just zip it, put it in the suitcase, and, um... Then like, you know, my face washy stuff and teeth brushing. I do that Saturday morning, then throw that in it back in, zip it up and pack it. And so my mom was taking a little nap. She's tired. And then dinner should be ready. Having a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then after that, going, I think, to the mall to try to find me some clothes <laughs> um, for this trip. So I have, like, a few things that I know for sure fit me and are comfortable because some of my shorts are kind of tight. 
Um, it was funny, it's like I lost some weight, so like I bought these new pair of shorts. And since I gained some weight, they don't fit me. I'm like, what the hell? Um, I got them in Disney. They're like khaki, kind of Bermuda style like. And they have a blue Mickey Mouse on them. And they're cute. So that's kind of the story. <sighs> Tired myself. I'm going to go. Oh, here's my phone. I came downstairs and I'm like searching the kitchen. I'm like, where's my phone? And I'm like, oh wait, I think it's in my mom's bathroom because I went upstairs and I brought my phone with me because we, um, my friend and I swapped numbers and I didn't know how to spell her last name because I suck at that spelling. So I was like asking my mom and then we were hanging out um, on my mom's bed, like chatting for like a minute. And then my mom wanted to know what time it was, and I'm like looking for my phone to be like, it is, well it's now currently 5.17, um, but <laughs> I couldn't find it, I didn't feel it in my back pocket, so I came down here, I'm like, I probably just left it in my mom's bathroom and I'll leave it there, because I want to finish watching YouTube videos while my mom's napping, because Alfie has... His blog, his blog up, and the title is like getting another pug question mark. I'm like, are they? Is Nala gonna get a friend or a brother or sister? Even though she already has a brother, but it's because they're biologically related. They came from the same mommy and daddy. Um, and then yeah, wee, this thing's fun. So I'm sitting on like, woo. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Can't wait to eat. I'm hungry. Thirsty. I did leave my water upstairs, and then later we'll be heading on up. DIDP. What's that? DIDP. Dana and Dr. Phil. Oh, yeah. Some of these? No. No? No, I don't. Small. 
made any. Um, yeah, a slashing. Does that mean Lobetra? Yes, and then the kids just got black and tell me to charge me. That's right. Um. Uh, I'm just going to say silencio and good night. Um, yes, buenos noches. <laughs> No, it was like see a late ass in the past. Oh no, you see those people knocking on doors? Did you see them? Did you yes. see them? I hate door knocking people. She doesn't like hey. the door knockers. No. Don't be knocking on her door. <laughs> she don't man. like it. They're wearing the like sandwich boards and they're carrying the briefcase. What the hell with the sandwich I board? Didn't, I was driving. No, I would, if someone, okay, if someone came to my house. I hate that. And I was wearing a sandwich board, I'll take a muffin sticker. And anything else I need to advertise it, and I stick, <laughs> stick it to it them, I stick it to them, I stick it to them good. And then when the ever door that they go knocking on, people be like, oh, what's that? <laughs> Supporting two causes. <laughs> and they didn't even know it. <laughs> That's why you put them on the back of their sandwich board with the muffin sticker saying, good job, good job, good job. Good for you. Good for you. Well, I did here. No, I do not like the door knocking people. They come when you're eating your dinner. Knock on the door, and then they want to or tell a, you. Or in a snowstorm. They want, yeah, then they want to tell you a whole big thing. And they either want your money, or they want your signature, or both. And you're like cooking your dinner. Either way, they want your number. You try not to let your cat sneak out. <laughs> and it's like, bad time. This is not a good time. <laughs> bad time. Well, but for the time we were in the driveway on the way to the airport yeah. and they wanted to like sell it something. That was like, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the very best ever. Ever. Oh, yes, ah. Sorry, there's a big bump in the road. I mean, it's Grand Canyon puddle. Um, no, remember <laughs> the very best, 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 best ever, ever, ever in history was when I was in Lynn Chandler's driveway talking to her and the realtor was coming up the driveway with a couple to show her house. But she ain't even selling it. And for sale, they, had the, they were at the wrong place. There no. was no for sale sign no. in front or anything. And they, the lady just kept trying to bypass Lynn and I saying, I'm just gonna, you know, we're just no, gonna No, 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 no. First she was, she was approaching the property. Lynn thought they were trying to sell something or they were like, they were trying to get rid of them, yeah. I don't know, because so she, was, so she was saying, like, go away, go away, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busy. That's right. And, and then they're like, no, we're, we'll just go in and take a look. And that's I'm like, a, take a look. Go in where? It was hysterical because it went on and on and on. Uh -huh. Because I was having a trauma. It was during one of my my very, very low points in my life. Trauma. And, and Lynn, the sweetheart and good friend that she is, <laughs> was trying to help me. And she was, you know, we were like heavy duty into the sad story. Is that the, is that the TJ Maxx? Yeah. And, um, and, <laughs> and it took us forever before we finally realized that this was a real estate agent trying to show <laughs> the couple her home that was not for sale. And no. they, they were like completely on the wrong street, but oh, hell's bells, there's no park. Um, so it was funny, it was, in hindsight, it was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh look, what? does it get any better than this? Oh what? World's well, most exciting party store. Oh my god, we need to go there. Party van. So you have a numbers. Tense canopy for every occasion. Oh my gosh. And there she goes. <clears throat> well, thank you for spending today with me. And till next time, keep it quirky.